was like panicking. I was like, what should I do? Saturday, Melanie Quinto was headed to her last homecoming dance in Princeton ISD. It ended with her and her sister running for safety. I don't trust going to school dances because what if it's going to be the same thing? The district says students fled after a reported social media threat that someone had brought a gun and then reports of hearing shots. Hinto and others ran and called parents. I told them just try to, you know, hide somewhere. Just calm down. Your dad is on the way. I could tell she was running and she was crying. And she said, Mom, help me. Somebody has a gun. Nikki Lankford also kept her daughter home today after the frantic 1015 call Saturday night. There were just kids everywhere running in every direction. They were all crying. There were they were looking for their parents. It was just total chaos. In a letter to parents, Princeton ISD said there's no evidence of shots fired or that anyone had a gun or made an online threat. Neither the district nor police were available for interviews. The district says 16% of high schoolers, or about 300 students, just didn't show up today. They also say there's no policy or changes they can think of that would have prevented what happened on Saturday. I thought probably nothing's going to happen, but if they don't feel safe to go, I don't want to just throw them in there or force them to go. There needs to be some kind of answer here that they can't just leave it like this. Security included one uniform officer, principals, and volunteers. It was not something we took serious at, in my honest, honest opinion. Two days later, students and parents are still nervous. Both still want answers. It's something I never thought would happen. In Princeton, I'm William Joy.